Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Now this is the newest addition to the Galaxy Note family. You already seen the OG Galaxy Note, the original. You already seen the Galaxy Note 2, which basically changed the whole phone game around. You already seen the Galaxy Note 10.1, which is without a doubt my all-time favorite tablet out right now. And now we got the Galaxy Note 8.0. So this is bigger than the Note 2, but smaller than the Note 10.1. So it's right in the middle. Now the 8.0, the 8 that's actually the screen size. So it's an 8-inch tablet. So let's take a look at the box real quick. We'll pop it open, check out some of the features, and see what it look like. Now if you look at the box, the box ain't all of that. But if you look at the size, shout out to Samsung. The box is made out of recyclable material. All right, and it's printed with the soy-based ink. So you got to respect them for doing their part for the environment. I ain't mad at that. So that's what it is. Now as you can see, I got the Wi-Fi 16 gig only version which is the only version that you need because this this tab has expandable memory and we'll get into that in a little bit but you could drop a memory card in here SD card micro SD card and um, expand the memory so you don't really need a 64 gig you don't really need a 32 gig 16 gig is good enough if you got Dropbox and you got everything else popping off you don't really need a 64 gig tablet anymore 16 gigs is good enough and the Wi-Fi version only that's good too because nowadays everybody's phones is rooted so you take that internet and use it off your phone all right. Now, y'all know I don't really get too heavy with specs and all that, but since this is official unboxing, let's take a look at some of the specs. Also, as you can see by the sticker, this already is floss certified. I mean, this tablet is a definite go, but we'll get into that in a minute. As you can see, 8-inch tablet, 1280 by 800 LCD. You get a 5.5 S Pen. You got a 5-megapixel camera on the back. You got a 1.3 in the front. You got the IR blaster, which basically means you can use this tab to control your TV, control your stereo, whatever. It's running Android 4.1. All right, it's a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor. Quad-core, you heard it right. You got 2 gigs of RAM, full 1080p HD playback recording. And it got a 4,600 milliamp battery, which definitely lasts a long time. Like I said, I've been playing with this all night. And the battery is pretty good so far. But when I do the real review, we'll get into, you know, full-size battery test to see how long it really lasts. But so far out the box, it looks good. So let's pop it open and see what you get inside the box. Now, you get the actual device. Inside, you get the usual, the books and shit. The micro SD charging which is definitely good because a lot of the Samsung tablets, y'all know if y'all got the big tablets, has the proprietary jack. So this one has the micro SD. So you can use the same one you use on your Galaxy Note, the same one you're using on all the other phones and all the other little devices that take micro SD. Micro USB, I'm sorry. Micro USB. All right, and you got the charger. So that's it. That's all you get inside the box. No headphones, no microfiber cloths, none of that screen savers or nothing. But whatever, for $400, I would have liked a set of headphones, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's move that out the way, and let's take a look at the actual device. Now, for dramatic effect, I just put the plastic back on, but I've been using this now for a couple of days already. Like I said, this tablet is definitely, definitely a go. Let's power it on to see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now, let's take a look around the actual device. On the right side, you got your power button. You got your volume up and down. Shout out to the trolls. Yeah, I said volume. See, now let, let me just clear something up real quick. Look, I don't say volume. I say volume. You know, that's just that's just a, 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 a kind of little speech that we say in the hood. We don't say volume. We say volume. All right, so shout out to the trolls. We got the volume rocker. Volume, volume, same shit. All right, you got the IR blaster right here. So that's everything you got on the right side. On the left side, you got a spot, if you look close, for your micro SD. That's why I said you don't need to get a 64 gig. You don't need to get a 32 gig. Just get a nice 32 gig micro SD card and slap it right in there. All right, so you got the micro SD card slot on the side. That's it. On the bottom, you got your micro USB charging port. You got two speakers. You got your S Pen. That's what the S Pen looks like. On the top, you got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got your 1.3 front-facing camera on the front. You got your sensor. You got your touch capacitive buttons. You got a menu and you got back. And you got an actual home button, which I like about the Galaxy line. I like that physical home button. 
On the back, you got the five me uh, the five megapixel camera, no LED flash. But um, like I said, I don't know how many people actually take pictures using the tab, but it's a nice thing to have. I like to have a nice LED flash and a nice camera just to have. But um, I don't really use it anyway. But you got the five megapixel camera on the back. That's it. All right, so that's how it looks around the device. Now, let me pull up some of these other Samsung products real quick, just so you can get an idea what the size is. Now, say you got a Galaxy S3. This is how it's going to look next to your Galaxy S3. All right, it's a lot bigger than the S3. Now, let's take a look at the Galaxy Note 2. This is what it's going to look like next to your Note 2. A lot bigger than the Note 2. Not too, too much bigger, but you can see the difference. Now, let's take a look at the Galaxy Note 10.1, which is actually my favorite tablet. As you can see, big size difference. So, the Note 10.1 is a little bit bigger, actually a lot bigger, but um, it's a lot harder to carry. So, I know a lot of people are going to ask me, you know, what's the sense of having so many tablets? If you already got a 10-inch tablet, why do you need an 8-inch tablet? You know, why do you need another tablet? Well, that's the same as asking a sneakerhead, why do you need the Jordan 4s and the Jordan 5s? You know what I'm saying? That's like asking a socialite, why do you need a Louis Vuitton bag and a Gucci bag? You know, it's all about what you're into. And I'm into tech, so I like to have a lot of different tech products. All my dudes out there that like tech, you know, we like to play with all the new toys. So this is really, you don't really need another tablet, but, you know, this is a nice toy. And it's a practical use for this also because it's a lot smaller than the 10.1. Now, I got big hands and big feet. <laughs> See what I did there? It's easy for me to hold, <laughs> it's easy for me to hold a 10-inch tablet in portrait mode in my hand because I got big hands. But, you know, a lot of girls and a lot of dudes out there, you know, don't want big, giant hands like this. You can't hold this in one hand like this. So you really need two hands to hold it, or you got to hold it with your finger on the screen. You know, and it's, it's kind of hard to carry this around. A lot of times, say you go to a barbecue or you go to the DMV or something, you don't want to carry a whole extra bag with you just for some gadgets and all that. You want to just have something that you could just drop in your pocket. So this is a little bit too big to just walk around for daily use. Now, the Note 8.0. This is perfect for daily use because you could just drop this right in your back pocket. Now, I, I, I got plenty of room, so I, I'm guaranteed the average guy can hold this in one hand and the average girl, or maybe even if you got to hold it a little bit like this, but it's easy to hold in one hand. And like I said, I've been using the Note 10.1 as my, my main daily every night tablet. You know, this is cool when I'm rocking, in, you know, I'm in, when I'm in the bed and I'm shitting on some haters on YouTube comments and all that. This is what I'm using. I'm using my Note 10.1. But sometimes, you know, it gets... Let me give you a perfect example. Instagram. Now, when you use an Instagram, you can't use it in, in landscape mode. Instagram only works in portrait mode. So a lot of times now when I'm chilling in the house and I'm, you know, in the bed and I'm playing around on Instagram, it's hard to use this for, for Instagram because it's so big. You got to keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's so big and, it's, and you know, it starts to get tiresome holding it in your hand like that. So now we got the Note 8.0. Now, as you can see, I've been rocking, like I said, so I already got all my apps, everything on there. So you got mad notifications. Every, everything is already popping off. Let's take a look at the actual OS real quick. Matter of fact, let me, let me dim the lights so you don't get none of that glare. Now, we're going to get into all the heavy features and all that when I do the real review, but I'll just show y'all some of the stuff that I really like about it so far. And if you got a Galaxy Note, you already know about the S Pen. The S Pen is definitely, definitely a go. And that's what separates the Galaxy Note 8.0 from the Nexus 7, from the HTC Flyer, and from, you know, all of these, from the iPad Mini. This is what separates it from all of these other tablets, is the S Pen. We'll get into that real quick. But first, let me just show you what it looks like. Y'all know I set up my phones, basically, and my phones and tablets, always the same. I got the black background. If you want to know how to do the black background, check out the Android 101 video. It's real easy. I got the Angry Birds Beautiful Weather Clock. This tablet is smooth, no lag at all. You still get all your Samsung features. And like I said, it's running uh, Android Jelly Bean 4.1, which you already know is going to get upgraded to 4.2. And since it's Samsung, no lock bootloaders, you already know I'm going to root this up in a minute and we'll have um, a whole bunch of cool ROMs on it and all that. So don't worry about the Android 4.1 if you're into rooting. And also it's Samsung, so you don't really have to worry about that because Samsung is pretty good with the updates. When you pull the notification bar down, you see you got all your toggles, you got your Wi-Fi, your GPS, you got reading mode. We'll get into all of them, you know, what they mean in the real review if you don't know what reading mode is. But um, it basically optimizes apps so they fit your screen. 
Okay, you got sound, screen rotation, Bluetooth, power saving, sync, and the multi-window. So what multi-window is, I'll get into that real quick. You hold the back button, and now you have a list of apps that you can run, you could do real multi real uh, multitasking. So now I don't have no internet connection in here real quick, so real right now, so um I'll just try to open up something. Let's see what we could look at. So we open up a world clock and we'll open up chat on at the same time. See, now once you open both of them up, I can move them around. So I got my world clock on the bottom and I got chat on on the top. And if you want to switch them around, you hit the switch button, switch them back and forth. Or you could just open it all the way up. Like I said, when I do the real review, we'll touch on all the features and all that. But let's talk about what makes this product so sick. Is the S Pen. That's what makes the Galaxy Note 2 so sick. That's what makes the Note 10.1, the best tablet out, is the S Pen. So now the way I got mine set up is when I pull out my S Pen, it automatically opens up S Note. So now say if I, if I had the tablet in my back pocket and I just pull out my pen real quick and I want to write down a number, I could just write it down real quick. Say I, say, I, say I met a dude named Mike and he's selling something I want to you know, link up with him later and pick that up. Let's write the number down real quick. Got the number down. I could just save it. All right, so I got that saved in there. So the S Pen has so many features, and like I said, we'll get into that in the real review. Now, one thing I will tell y'all about this S Pen, this is the best S Pen that came out yet. If you've seen the S Pen on the original Galaxy Note, it was kind of still beta. It was kind of, you know, it wasn't all that. When the Galaxy Note 2 came out, that's when the S Pen really started shining. The S Pen, you know, with the button and everything, with the crop features, I'll show y'all in a minute, with the button. The S Pen really came alive in the Galaxy Note 2. But it still had a, you know, it's still, with the pressure sensitivity, it's still, you know, it took a little bit to get used to. With the Galaxy Note 10.1 now, with this S Pen, this S Pen is definitely better than the Note 2. The tip is a little bit different. It works a little bit better on the Galaxy Note 10.1. But, like I said, with the Galaxy Note 8.0, they really did it right this time. This is the best S Pen I use yet. you seen when I was writing. Let me open up something real quick, and then let me give you an idea. Let me pull up a picture real quick and give you an idea of one of these features that you could use. Now, say I got a picture open up right here. Shout out to everybody that's seen the iLoom case video. Say somebody wanted to see just the Galaxy S3 case. I wanted to just, you know, crop it out and send it to them. All you got to do is press the button on the pen. Just circle that. Did I, I don't know if I got a complete circle. Let me try that again. All right, circle that. Now it's cropped. Now I could put it in a scrapbook. I could have sent it as an email. I could do whatever I want with it. Right? Now, let, now let's open it up real quick so you can see what it looks like. Now I go to my scrapbook. Now, once I'm in my scrapbook, I can just take notes. I can just write stuff down. You know, you already seen the other note videos. You know, you could change the pen size. Different kind of pen sizes. You could change the, the width. Change all the colors. So many options. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. So many options. Also, I can add a photo. Let's go to the clipboard. Let's add that photo that I just put in here. Now, say I want to add a photo. You could just add this photo. Now, I got the photo added right here. I can hit my eraser, erase all that smiley face stuff. Now, say I wanted to just send this to somebody. Just that little clip. Check this out. Now, one thing you can't really notice on the video is the pressure sensitivity. You can actually really write like if you're writing on a piece of paper. You know, a lot of times when you're writing with a with a stylus on a, on a digital you know on a digital platform, it has a little bit of lag to it. It's a little bit slow. You can't really write the way you really write. But with this one, you can really write the way you really write. You can write script. You can do you can do everything you really do. If you the harder you press it, the harder the ink goes. So it's kind of like a real pen. 
Let's change the size real quick. Let's 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 try this one. See now I got a thinner version. And if you look close, if I touch the screen light, it's light. But if I touch a heavy, it gets darker. You see? So depending how light you press it, this one is sick. The, the screen responsiveness on this is a definite, definite go. And when I do the real review, we'll get into all of the features and all that. Right now, fresh out the box, I'm giving this tablet a solid 10. A solid 10. No lag so far. The battery's pretty good. Now, I haven't, I, I haven't used it in a, in a couple of hours, but I took it off the charger like about, maybe about 9 o'clock this morning. So I haven't used it. Still got a full battery. Like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a definite 10 straight out the box. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, whenever I do products, y'all see a lot of times I give products a 9, I give products a 10 fresh out the box and all that. Well, you got to look at the products that I review. You know, I don't really review a whole bunch of low budget, you know, low end products. All of the products I review are basically the top of the line products. So you would expect them to be a 9 or a 10. And this one definitely didn't disappoint. Like I said, you can hold this in one hand. You can drop it in your back pocket easily. Let me turn the light back on. Drop it right in your pocket. You can flow with it outside very easy. And also, one thing about the, the design, it has that plastic feel, which you already know about Samsung. But, you know, the plastic feel kind of grew on me. So I, I'm, I'm used to all of the plastic Samsung feel now. Like I said, all you got to do is get a case and you get rid of that. If you don't, you know, if you're worried about the build quality and all that, and you like to have a heavier kind of build, then you get a nice case and you put it on here. The build quality, it, feel, it has that plastic feel, but it feels sturdy. It has that kind of gray. That, it's not aluminum, but it has that aluminum look around the sides, like all the new Galaxy products. And, you know, being that it's the white version, it'll match all your other Galaxy products. So if you got your Galaxy Note 10.1, you got your Galaxy Note 8, you got your Galaxy S3, you got your Galaxy Note 2, you got your Galaxy Camera, you got your Galaxy Player. Everything is white. Everything looks uniform. Now, I would prefer to get everything in black because if you take a look at the Galaxy Camera, now this is a camera I use a lot. I don't know if you can see this, but it starts to get dirty. because This is the part that you're going to have your hands on. And me, when I'm using this camera, I'm basically using it at car shows and, you know, places where I'm, where I'm at. And it's not the most cleanest places and all that. So you can see that it starts to show on the camera. Now, I haven't cleaned this in a while, but it does, it does come clean. I will give it that. So now that everything is white, everything looks uniformed. Little Apple. <laughs> Shout out to the trolls. Y'all know what that is. Look, everything looks clean. Everything looks together. Now, you know, it's, that's up to you. If you want to get a whole bunch of different colorful stuff, you know, do that. But me, I like to have all my stuff looking nice and neat, nice and clean, like one big happy family. So this way, when I'm going through TSA and I got to put all my personal belongings in that tray, this is how my tray looks, just like this. So everything looks like one big family. looks real nice like this. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving a note 8. A fresh 10 right out the box. All right, this is floor certified. This is a definite go. So far, the only thing I can say about it that I don't like is the fact that they put both speakers on one side. So when you're in the house and you, you know, you're watching a movie or something in the bed, all the speakers is coming out of one side. You know, it, it would have been better with, with speakers on both sides. Like if you look at the Note 10.1, you got speakers on both sides. So, you know, not a big deal. That's the only thing so far I figured about that I don't like. But everything else, the screen rotation, the responsiveness, Everything is nice and smooth. So you got all my notifications. Can just clear those out the way. No lag at all. S Pen works nice and smooth as soon as I pop it out. Open up my notes. Write down some shit real quick. I mean, this is a definite go. The price for this, $400. So now I know what you're saying. I could get a Galaxy, I could get an old school like this one. You could go get a Galaxy 10, a regular Galaxy. Um, not the Galaxy Note. You could get a Galaxy Tab for that price. But keep in mind, this is only dual core, which doesn't matter if all you're going to be using it for is watching videos and playing around on Facebook and all that. Then it doesn't matter. But trust me, if you never use that S Pen, this is something that you might want to go to Best Buy and play around with it. Go to your, you know, your Sprint or Verizon, AT&T, whatever spot you go to. If you never use the S Pen, go there and play with it. Because once you use this, trust me, you're not going to want... A tablet that doesn't have this I use the cut and paste feature every time I pull out my my tab I'm cutting and pasting something I'm sending emails sending pictures sending just little crop parts of pictures you know without having to you know crop a picture and edit the whole thing out I'm just circling and sending you know adding little attachments 
the S Pen is a definite, definite go. So this is something that you definitely want to check out. Like I said, four hundred dollars. It's a little bit. It's a little bit more than the um than the Nexus. You know, the Nexus you could get for two hundred between two and two fifty. The Galaxy Note ten point one. You're not getting cheaper than five hundred dollars, really. So now the difference is about a hundred dollars and change. So, you know, if this is too big for you, then get the de definitely get the Note eight point I I can't stress how hot this tab is. This is gonna be my new outdoor tab. And kind of like I said, when I'm, I be living on Instagram lately. So this is my new Instagram tab when I'm in the house. I just hold it in one hand and I can flow on Instagram. Like I said, we'll get into the real review next week. I'll show y'all all of the features. You know, now a lot of people, one more thing before we get out of here. A lot of people are going to say, you know, you know, why get this if you could get the, the 10 point, you know, the note 10.1. Why would you want to get the eight? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Like I said, it's easy to carry. It's $100 and change cheaper, and it's not really missing too many features. The only couple of fe features that it's missing, if you look in the back of the Note 10.1, you got a flash. So there's no flash on the 8, not a big deal. There's no multi-window at the bottom. Like, I'll show you that later. No reason to get even to get into that. But like I said, for, for $400, this is a win. All right, if all you got right now is a Galaxy Note, and you want to get a matching tab to go with the Note, I'm recommending getting the 8 or getting the Note 10.1, but the 8 is just a lot easier to maintain, easy to carry. All right? Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I be at full time, 100%. That's why I even went out and got a straight up Instagram tablet. So shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. And before I get out of here... Shout out to all y'all haters that be, you know, leaving the hateful comments and in, in the comments and the remarks and all of that. I only got a quick message for y'all haters. Eat a dick. It's your boy Floss. I'll catch you with y'all in the next trip. Deuces.